The seventeenth day of July, last at evening toward night, our noble Queen Elizabeth took barge for her delight and bade the watermen to row her pleasure she might take about the river to and fro as much as they could make. Weep, weep, until I weep, and shall do till I die, to think that the gun was shot at court so dangerously. And of the council with her grace were nobles two or three, as fittest were to be in place regarding their degree. The French ambassador likewise to come with her grace. Of mighty causes sat with her, each one in comely place. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To gink upon the murmur's shot, it caught so dangerously. But when her grace an hour or two had passed to take the air, returning breeding on a buck, <laughs> she said, grow soft and fair, whereby as God the matter wrought the slackness and the stay, softly she passed and nothing thought a gunshot any way. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. But all this while upon the Thames, in a scholar's boat unknown, a wretched fellow got a gun that was none of his own, and shot a bullet two or three, at random all about, and gave no great regard to see what time the queen went out. Weep, weep, weep and still I weep, weep and shall do till I die, to think upon the gun was shot that caught so dangerously. But as her grace came passing by, had given his peace a charge, and there let out a bullet fly that hit one in the barge. A waterman threw both his arms as he began to roll, that he cried out upon his arms, whereat the queen was woe. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die, to think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. Herself in sight and presence by, when that the bullet came, she saw him hurt, she saw him fall, yet shrunk not at the same. Neither made she any fearful show to seem to be dismayed, nor seemed to the ambassador of anything afraid. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die, to think upon the gunner's shot at court so dangerously. But having such a mighty mind as passeth tongue to tell, she stepped unto the wounded man and bade him take it well. His gushing blood could not abash her noble courage there, but she was readier to give help 
than all the noble men. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die, to think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. Okay, so a little bit of a break here. That the guy that shot the the uh, the, 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 the river man uh, was uh, a servant called Thomas Appletree. Um, so they send out uh, a party of her councillors to go and find him. He's duly picked up and he's uh, taken to a very quick trial and he's obviously sentenced to death because he's very nearly killed the Queen. Okay, right, so, so we'll, we'll skip a few verses. So, and on the Tuesday following this wicked prisoner came, well guarded with the marshal's men, to hang upon the same, his master standing on the bank to hear what he could say. He humbly fell upon his knees and mercy did him pray. Weep, weep, weep and still I weep and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. Would God thou never served me, quoth he with woeful look. But God, he said, forgive it thee, that cursed mark thou took. And after prayer said and dug, oops, on the ladder as he stood, he took his death before them all. He was a subject good. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. Meant to hurt her grace, nor any in the barge, nor meant to shoot in any place, to hurt with any charge, but wished he never had been born for his good master's sake, whom he had made a woeful man, and no amends could make. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. The queen which saw this sacrifice, a ready wretch to die, whose pity pleadeth hard and still, put forth her princely eye, and sent the captain of her guard, a counsel grave and wise, to make the fact and favour known, as he could best devise. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. And told again if that mishap had happened to her grace, the stay of true religion, how perilous were the case which might have turned to bloody wars of strange and foreign foes. Alas, how had we been a curse, a comfort so to lose. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot, had caught so dangerously. And last of all he said again, Mark yet this piteous queen, For all this vile unhappy fact, So lewdly done and seen, Returns to her inured course, Of mercy to forgive, That this accursed shall not die, 
weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. And then to hear the people shout and see them clap their hands. Who would have torn his flesh before being in hangman's hands? To see the goodness of her grace to such great pity bent. It made the stoniest heart of all astonished to lament. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon a gun was shot at court so dangerously. All loving subjects learn to know your duties to the Queen. By land and water where ye go, that no such deed be seen. But pray to God that rules the skies, her highness to defend, to reign with him perpetually when her highness life shall end. Weep, weep, and still I weep, and shall do till I die. To think upon the gun was shot at court so dangerously. Oh, imagine.